program is designed to test the student's ability to calculate relative velocity of two objects. In this program, two boats will be moving along the river. Students are to find the velocity of each boat relative to the shore by pausing the simulation when the front of the boat reaches the lamp post in the uh, foreground. So in this case, the front of boat two reaches it at 14.26 seconds. Students obviously would want to write that down. They then allow the boats to continue to travel. When the back of the boat reaches the lamp post, students will pause again and they will get a value for the time at which the back of the boat travels past the lamp post. By subtracting the front of the boat, which is the very tip, from the back of the boat, they can get the delta T for the boat passing the lamp post. Use that along with the length of the boat to get the speed of the boat relative to the shoreline. They would do the same thing for boat one. They'd get the time that the very front reaches, the time that the very back reaches, get the delta T, and then the speed. Once the students have the speed of each boat, if they'd like, they can watch it again just so they can see how the boats are moving relative to each other. They then use the speeds that they calculated to find the relative speed of the boats. When students are ready, they'll click on the end button. It will then ask them to type in their name. Okay, it'll ask them for the speed of each boat. So boat one was going kind of slow. Boat 2 was going much faster, and the relative speed of the boat, since they were approaching each other, is going to be the sum of these two values, and that would be 3.99 meters per second. If the students need to watch it again, they could hit return. It will take them back to the, um, back to the river, and they can watch the same simulation again. And when students are happy with their answers, they can hit submit. You'll see that we got pretty good answers, and it says your answers were pretty good. Take a screenshot of this page and share it with your teacher. They can either email it to you, put it in Dropbox and share it with you, put it in Google Classroom, whatever method you happen to use.